good morning friends today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, administrative and cultural aspect of satvahanas now in in earlier slides we have uh, studied about satvahana dynasty and its political history and prominent rulers of satvahana dynasty so here we are going to discuss about uh, administrative and cultural aspect of satvahana which is very important uh, here i'm also providing you uh, pdf notes so that you may write down you may take them and read them study them or memorize them for your exams so here we we i'm starting my lecture the cultural history of of this particular period is the history of vedic assertion and inclusiveness of buddhism and jainism the satvahanas deliberately and consciously followed the policies of shastras available to them um um firstly i'm going to discuss about administration and uh, the administration uh, to the extent uh, it has been borrowed mainly from uh, Sa uh, maurya and mauryas because it was successor empire of satvan uh, of uh, mauryas so much um, administrative features have been taken from uh, mauryas um the government was based upon hereditary hereditary absolute monarchy gautam gautamiputra bore the imperial title raja rao which means kings of kings for administrative purpose the empire was divided into number of aharas and shastra rashtras each of which consisted of at least one central town called nigama and a number of villages the amatya governed these uh, aras the inscription refers to officers like mahasenapati harinaka bandagarika mahamatra lekhaka and nibandhakarika gramas and nigamas gramas and nigamas were the lowest administrative units the end of trade and merchant guilds called shrinis played a prominent role in this regard satana administrator administration was simple and was according to the principles laid down in the dhan shastras the king was a commander of war and often threw himself into the thickest of frays mahabhujas and maharathis were the feudatories of satvanas they were they they used to be having uh, village granted to them in their own name with physical immunity attached to them which means that uh, they will they, they will have entire power on this particular land that has been given to them in the grants the taxes were neither heavy nor many the sources of income were proceeds from the royal domain salt monopoly ordinary and extraordinary taxes both soldiers and officers were paid in kind land revenue system, land revenue salt tax export import etc formed the revenue of the state agriculture was was the backbone of the economy during the rule of satvanas they also relied on the trade and production of various commodities within and outside the india the cultural achievement of satvanas satvanas were the lover of literature they used to patronize learning the patent the prakrit language prospered during this period um, one of the satvana king named hal wrote gatha shakta sati bunade wrote brihat katha and sarva varman wrote a treatise on the sanskrit grammar Sa uh, satvanas were hindus and claim brahmanical status though they made generous donation to buddhist uh, monasteries in nashik inscription gautami putra satkarni is called ek brahmana which is interpreted as unrivaled brahmana number of buddhist monasteries emerged during this period in the deccan region pandav pandav leni cave inscription issued during this period issued during the reign of kanha 
Satwana sculpture were very prominent for their magnificence. Dhaja, Dhaja Vihara cave is, from, is profusely decorated with carvings and even um, pieces were have, have a lotus capital adorned with sphinx-like sphinx -like mythical creatures. More sculptures like Dwarapala, Gaja Lakshmi, Shalabhanjika, Royal Procession, Decorative Pillars, etc. are still existing. Along with that, many metal objects, figurines have also been found in the Satvana region. A horde of unique bronze objects were found from uh, Brahmapuri. Numerous articles obtained from there were Indian in nature, but also reflected Roman Italian influence. The sculpture of Amravati Stupa represents the art architectural development during Satvana period. They built Buddhist stupas in Amravati. Uh, cave 9th and 10th contain Ajanta paintings were patronized by them. Ashokan stupas were also enlarged. The earlier bricks and wood wooden works was being rep uh, replaced with stone work. The most famous among them is Amravati stupa and Nagarjuna Konda stupa. These stupas were decorated in marble slabs uh, sculpted with with the scenes from the life of Mahatma Buddha, portrayed in characteristic, slim and elegant style. Satvana paintings are the earliest surviving specimens, excluding prehistoric rock card in India. They are to be found in Ajanta caves. The important surviving painting at Ajanta is the Chandata Jatak in Cape Tan, but that too is fragmentary in nature. All the cultural achievements suggest that the cultural achievements Satvanas were the earliest specimen of expressions of art and art. Thank you.